let's just try that again from uh, I could see my football cards come to life. Ray Dittinger has made it his life's work of watching, writing, and analyzing almost every Eagles play on a Sunday afternoon. Running at a fast pace is converting third downs. Running at a fast pace and getting off the field three and out doesn't help anything. Thank you all for coming. Please turn off your cell phones. And welcome to Tommy and Me by Ray Dittinger. Only now, Ray has devised his own play that he wants to run. He's almost terrified it might not work. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is the time when everybody's going to be second guessing me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, hey, I'm you know, I can deal with it, you know. I, I and the thing is I'm I mean this is so new to me. You know, I've been I've been writing about talking about football for more than 40 years, but never like this. You know, never like this. Ray's play is a well-crafted story beyond Xs and Os. Tommy and Me relives Ray's unique, one-of-a-kind relationship with Eagles Hall of Fame receiver Tommy McDonald. My hero was Tommy McDonald. Our hero was Tommy McDonald. As a kid, um, we used to go, my family used to go up to Eagles training camp, which was then in Hershey, Pennsylvania, every summer. That was our summer vacation. And we'd go up there for two weeks and we'd go to practice every single day. And Tommy McDonald was my favorite player, as, as he was just about every little kid's favorite player. And I used to chase after him, try and get his autograph. Uh, so Simon, when your first line, make that one the loudest one you can, and then turn. Yeah, and then turn to Matt and smile like. Ha, ha, ha. For the play's director Joe Canuso, Tommy and me truly appeals to him, not just as a football fan, but to work with his grandson Simon, who plays Little Ray in Eagles Die Hard. What's your name? Ray. You live around here? I live in Philadelphia. Somewhere between them, uh, they came up with the idea of adding the younger Ray, and so he brought it to me, and I thought it was brilliant. It really opens up the play a lot, and, and really gives us an insight into Ray as a person. Yeah, yeah. And it, it means something to you because obviously it's your grandson. It's my grandson, and uh, yeah, and for me it's really uh, special because it's the first thing he's done with our theater company, which is Theater Exile. Tom McDonald was handing me his helmet. I couldn't believe it. As an NFL reporter, Ray works tirelessly to get Tommy the recognition so long overdue. His own place in Canton, Ohio. Tommy McDonald, it's on! When he finally did get in the Hall of Fame in 1998, he knew that I had been working behind the scenes. And he said, I want you to be my presenter in Canton. So, I mean, that's the remarkable part of the story, is that this guy who's your boyhood hero, who's your childhood idol, you actually later on help him achieve something he's always wanted to achieve and then he thanks you by allowing him to share that moment with him. What are the odds? I mean that's 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 a billion to one that, that, that you get that opportunity. I hope those who knew him or saw him play will see that spirit come through and they'll identify and say that's it. Those who never saw him will be curious and want to know more and understand why he's in the Hall of Fame. I think that's probably the biggest thing. You want to understand why he's in the Hall of Fame and why Ray worked so hard to get him there. Ray says it took him about a year to write the play Tommy and Me, and depending on the feedback and the response he receives, the next step would be to make it into a major theatrical production. If you're a good writer, you're a good writer. It doesn't matter what medium you're working in. Or uh, he, Ray just knows how to tell a story, and and that's the most important thing about being a writer. And you know whether it's whether it's dialogue you're writing or prose. It, it's all about grabbing an audience and being compelling in some way and, and knowing how to weave a tale. It's just an extraordinary, extraordinary story. And so that's why I just thought, this is a story it's worth telling. Because it's, the thing is, it's, it's so universal. I mean, you don't have to be an Eagles fan. You don't even have to be a football fan to, to really relate to this story. I mean, we all have childhood heroes. Uh, we all have people we look up to. And... So I think everybody can identify with what it would be like to actually not just have that childhood hero, but forge that kind of relationship with them. I think it's a story that'll, that can touch a lot of people on many, many levels. Just like old times, huh? Just like old times. John Borick, Comcast Sportsnet.